You and I know that the FAME trials have pushed fractional flow reserve, or FFR, into any discussion about when and when not, of course, to stent a lesion. However, FFR is undoubtedly underutilized in daily clinical practice. Now in the European Heart Journal, researchers report on the use of FFR in general clinical practice and the long-term outcomes of FFR-guided PCI in the real world. This is a retrospective study of almost 7,500 patients referred for PCI to the Mayo Clinic. The patients were divided into two groups, those undergoing PCI alone or with FFR measurements to guide PCI. The latter group was further classified as FFR perform group if followed by PCI and FFR defer group if PCI was deferred. Clinical events were compared during a medium follow-up of more than four years. Here's the outcome. Major adverse events at seven years was 57% in the PCI only versus 50% in the FFR guided group. And similar to the outcome in the FAME trials, these results were not driven by MI and mortality. But here's the most important conclusion from this report. FFR guided deferred PCI strategy was independently associated with a reduced rate of myocardial infarction. Thus, the data demonstrate a favorable outcome in the FFR defer group compared with the FFR perform group, which strongly supports the use of FFR when evaluating whether PCI can be safely deferred. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.